Riverside for blowing the Kings out here on Friday night. The Suns dethroned San Antonio, winning their first round series in four. Shaquille O'Neal, who shot 60% from the floor in four meetings this year between these teams. Wisely against Shaquille. A.C. Green with two on the shot clock. Ball knocked away. A two-on-one break. Marion on Kidd's right, but Kidd takes it all the way for the lay-in. The rookie Marion, celebrating his 22nd birthday today, takes the rebound. Hardaway, tough hoop. That's a nice play. It looked like Shaquille wanted to come out and intercedes to get some easy baskets. Bob shot under 39% against the Spurs. Kobe. Kobe Bryant, such an electric performer in the open floor. He's got the quickness. You see the quick step around Sean Marion, who's a terrific. Fresh 24. Penny to Marion. Good interior pass. And again, second shot opportunities. When you get when you get second shots, what it does is you get teams in a scramble situation. And anytime you go to the basket, you can always count on Shaq being there waiting for you. They're active on the best current and all-time point guards. MSNBCSports.com, official website of NBC Sports. And back at the other end. Out of here, says Shaq on the longly hook. Gwen Rice. Pointers behind Reggie Miller and Dale Ellis. Hardaway hits the pull up to tie the game. Well, that was a nice play, and you can see once it's going to come down the floor. Now, watch this little move he makes just to square himself up, get those shoulders square, nice to the target, knocks the shot in. Again, I like what Phoenix is doing. My only concern right now with them is they so he and Cliff Robinson both have gotten an easy basket here early in this game. Lakers would like any kind of basket, and there it is, the surest way on the stump by Shaq. Prior to that, L.A. had missed 13 consecutive shots from the timeout with 9.56 to play in the first half, and you're watching the NBA playoffs on NBC. Four reserves and Shaq for Phil Jackson right now. O'Neal, they hold a team meeting around him, and he misses. He won't miss the follow, though. That's what you were talking about, the second shot that comes back to Shaq. What you need to do is turn. Shaq, little hop, and the short jumper good. Well, Jason Kidd went down to help, and he took a very poor angle. If you're going to go down and help, you cannot let Shaq. Shaq, kid looking to cheat over and help. Now he tries to get back out to Shaw. And not quickly enough. What a big addition, Brian Shaw. For the years he's been hurt, but what you're saying now is a new, more mature Penny Hardaway that uh, you're seeing at his best. He has no injuries. He's comfortable with his surroundings, with his team, and he says he's out to show everybody that. Uh, Four to dozen. Lakers lead by five. Away baseline. Shaq came out to contest him. He arced it over him for the hoop. Get inside and jump over people. Now he's playing the thinking man game of Shaquille O'Neal shaking loose in the lane. But you're seeing Penny now use his fundamentals. Hardaway out of the corner for three. Right on cue. We a little Penny Hardaway segue there. Five quick points to keep his team alive in this game. Trends to a better rhythm. Better rhythm. Penny Hardaway just sort of floats out to this three-point line, and that three-pointer from the corner I always like because that's the shortest one to shoot from that corner. Penny's the rebound to Marion. He can't hit. Now Kobe Bryant between two defenders. Look at him go, spinning and hitting. Plus the foul. High-fiving everybody in the first row between the foul line and midcourt. Well, how about this? This was on the dead run against Jason Kidd. Rodney Rogers back to between his legs to spin. He did so many things until we slowed it down there. We couldn't even see all the stuff that was in his game. The little fading shot off the glass, the high fives. Kobe. Looking to put some daylight between themselves and the Suns. Kobe Bryant into the lane. Lays it in. Phoenix right now is going to be... Now he tries to contend with Shaq at the defensive end. Backing in on him with the jump hook. The follow-up. How often have we 
talked about when you play the Lakers, you better slide up 29% would lead the league. That's how huge their offensive rebounding has been. Hardaway over Harper. Harper. And then pulling it back out. Rogers screens. Hard Hardaway hits the three. I've never seen him play better. That what I in the last minute of this half. Kobe Bryant. Shaq is there to clean up the mess. He has 18 for the game. 14. They're doing to you defensively. Shaq had 32 with 18 rebounds Friday when they closed out Sacramento. Phoenix begins the second half with another turnover, and Bryant is fouled on his way to the hoop. That's Luke Longley's fourth turnover in the ball game, and this is exactly what Scott Skiles did. That Front court, eyed by Kidd. They get it deep to Shaq. He follows his own shot a second time. He is just so powerful when he lays the ball in. What you'd like to be able to do is get your... Six on the shot clock as they find Shaq. And once he spun by Longley, the case was closed. Now, when you watch the Lakers play, the forcing, riding out that post player, see Kobe, uh, Kobe uh, Bryant take the little jump shot and Shaq with the follow-up. But what it does is with a guy like Shaquille O'Neal, he gets... Finally recovers it, but his saving pass is picked off by Bryant. Kobe, look out. Oh, man. Luke Longley's having a nightmare of a game. He's got five turnovers in the game, and how often do... Six Hardaway continues his fine play. It's end of the year, getting ready to come in along with Corey Blunt. Those guys have got to give them some energy here as the Lakers are starting to take control. Kobe for three. What can't he do? The answer is nothing. Well, Kobe Bryant had gotten off to a slow start, one of his first seven field goals. You cannot say that now. He has been electric in the open floor, spinning, whirling, taking the ball between his legs, almost identical to the play he made in the first half when he got fouled. And this time, Penny Harder was, I'm going to give you a little space here. I'm not going to let you get to the basket. And he drained. You watch him. He's leaving Jason Kidd and really looking to help out. Harper with the steal. Now in a foot race with Rodgers, and Harper has it blocked. Kidd trailing the play, takes the rebound. Robinson set up for a three. Wow, that's a five-point turnaround. What a big swing that time for Phoenix. Instead of a legs a three. After Hardaway's three spins out, the Lakers are back to the attack, and Shaq ups the lead to a dozen. He has 26. Of, you know, getting real excited or, or hyper before a game. And I think that when you see Shaquille O'Neal, look at the rhythm. He's got a little tired, and with that, his rhythm, he's slowed down. His shooting has gone way up. Both he and Kobe, after the slow start, right now are just picking and choosing what they want to do out there. Shaq again. Plus bring it to the line. He, he just discourages you. you. You fight, you battle, and this big guy, gets inside he just plants himself like a big old oak tree pump fakes and then the strong finish and the soft touch Shaquille O'Neal is showing you just one of the few things now Kevin Johnson Penny Hardaway could be a three-point play Phoenix Three points KJ is going to penetrate and who does he run into once again Shaquille O'Neal right underneath the basket and Penny Hardaway with a little spot up jump shot in the foul on key defense who O'Neal chance for a three-point play give the assist to Rick Fox but, but did you notice there the Lakers did not dribble the basketball this is one of the things that Tex Winter preaches with his triangle uh, offense pass the ball don't dribble it the ball is thrown ahead out of the trap wait for Shaq to get in position and the wrist that you going four for six against Sacramento Friday now it's O'Neal turn around off the glass and good 35 we got Rodney Rogers playing against Shaquille O'Neal Rodney Rogers may be tonight with the series 1-1 Hardaway cutting to the hoop and KJ finding him this time he misses the shot, but he just goes from post to post, and they look for him on every possession. Hardaway lobs it up for Marion, and the rookie gets up on that pogo stick to slam it down. And a timeout with 9.15 to play. The foul was on Rodney Rogers, his fourth, and the Lakers looking for the 1-0 edge in the series, lead by 20 getting over that and that's a hard thing to do knowing that you have those screws there maybe the more he plays the more he gets used to that but he does appear to be limping as we 
watch him now, Bob. Hitting. Well, this is what you talked about, Bob. Shaquille O'Neal. Now he's added the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar skyhook to the arsenal of drop steps, power moves, and dunks. And Robinson, Rogers, and Kidd shot a combined 8 for 30. So those three important contributors were a combined 8 for 30. The Suns, who are a pretty good three-point shooting team and needed to hit from three to have a chance in the series, were 3 for 17 as a team. They didn't protect the ball well. Turnovers killed them. And they lose big time, 105-77. We'll be right back.